Strike Arena is a game for two to five players, where players take turn throwing dice into the arena in an attempt to match faces that are already in there so that they can collect those dice. But if any dice rolls to an X, that dice is removed from the game permanently. If after throwing your dice in, you don't have any matches that you can take out, you can keep throwing dice in until you do or until you decide to pass your turn. It's a great push your luck strategy. If you run out of dice, you're out of the game. The 3D printed version of Strike Arena is not that difficult to print, it's just the arena. However, you are going to need to have a clutch of dice to throw in there, which you could either do by just buying dice and then treating the one as the X, or I took the dice from Shut the Box, modified the one to be an X, and printed a whole bunch of them for my version of Strike Arena. Now, some people question the balance of a 3D printed dice, but why worry about that? Just print a sixth of them with this side up, a sixth of them with that side up, a sixth of them with that side up, so on and so forth. And okay, fine, they might not be balanced, but you won't be able to tell which one is favoring what side when you throw them. However, Strike Arena is a game that you can buy. It is published by Ravensburg, and in fact, I went and got their rules to print them out for this particular version. So the question becomes, should you print it or should you buy it? Ravensburg is selling this in the US for only about $20, which is a reasonable price for an arena and a big handful of dice. So for this one, I say, consider buying it before you print it out. 